Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany, and if you're interested in customizing your channel layout, you're in the right place, because I got a little housekeeping to do on my channel here, and I am going to walk you through how to do it as I do it. And along the way, I'll also let you know how to create a channel trailer for new viewers and a featured video for subscribers. So let's get right on into it. First things first, how do you even get to this place where you work on your channel? The quickest way to get there is to click customize channel. There's another way to get there and now it's a side link in YouTube studio which they have confusingly called manage videos. This gets you to YouTube studio if you click it and then over on the side here you can see that there's a customization tab. When you click that then you get to your channel customization area. If you are in England, it'll be spelt with an S. The fastest way to get there is just going right into customize channel. Click that button and it saves you a few clicks. You get directly to channel customization. So we will get into the trailer and the other video in a minute. But first, we've got this cool thing called featured sections. On your home page, you can actually arrange how things things look. When people visit your homepage either on your phone or on the computer, you can help shape their viewing experience in many different ways and one of them is to create these featured sections. You can see here currently I have popular uploads, I have uploads, I also have kind of an ad for one of my other channels and I have a few more but I feel like I could be doing better here so that's why I was talking about housekeeping. My Tiffany Inc channel is still fairly new so the views on my popular videos are kind of low compared to Mr. Beast. Well, I guess everyone's views are low compared to Mr. Beast, but um, I digress. People love to watch something with lots of views because it's a popular video. And I think people naturally are interested in why a video is popular and has lots of views. Right now, when I don't have that many views on my popular uploads because this is a new channel, I don't think having this section right up top is working that well for me. So I'm gonna mix things around a bit. Uploads just means that your most recent upload shows first, your second most recent upload shows second, your third, and so on. I'm also not loving this shorts row that I created to show up on the channel home on my desktop. A shorts shelf automatically shows up on your phone channel homepage. And I think the viewer experience to watch these vertical videos is just a lot more fun on your phone. So I'm gonna take this out. Come along with me while I customize my channel. It's so easy to move these things around. All you do is you just grab a hold with your mouse cursor and move it up or down and then it squeezes in there. After you make a change, you've got to remember to click publish over here or else it's not gonna save. I've created quite a few playlists now, so I think I'm actually gonna move some of my more helpful playlists to the top of my homepage so that I'm helping people find videos that they're interested in more easily. So to add a new section, I just click add section and then I'm going to do a single playlist. Now it shows me all my playlists. So I I think I will do YouTube creator tips. It populated down at the bottom here, but I want to move it so that it is going to be at the absolute top. Okay, that didn't work. Try it again. Getting a little tricky here because I didn't seem to want to grab at the top, so I'm just going to pull this one beneath it instead. Now it's on top. I'm going to add a section again of a playlist, and I want to show blow up on TikTok and I want that to be highlighted up near the top. There we go. I'm going to completely get rid of this short videos list. Remove section. Goodbye. Easy as that. I also want to show you how I got to the point where I was advertising one of my other channels. Edit section contents. I put in my own title right there. I could have more channels in this section, but I just have Hammer and Home. I'm gonna cancel this because I didn't make any changes, but if you wanted to do it yourself, you would click Add Section, and then you would say Featured Channel. Click that, and then go to any channel on YouTube. Well, let's go to Hammer and Home, obviously. Click that, and we'll just call it another Hammer and Home row done and then it populated at the bottom 
that's exactly how we made that. Don't need this one. I am going to throw it in the trash. Okay, good enough for now. I'm gonna click publish and then let's view the channel to make sure that it worked. All right, there we go. Word, shall we? Not right now, Tiffany. We're not having a quick word. Excellent, there we go. This is reminding me I need to make a thumbnail for this. Viewers may now find it a little easier to find videos they're interested in. If they're interested in YouTube creator tips, they know to check out this list. If they're interested in TikTok, they know to check out this list. Whoops, doing a little browsing while they're here. Maybe they'll subscribe directly to Hammer and Home before before they even get to the channel. Okay, let's see what else we can do. We've also got branding, which is talking about your photo and your icon and your banner image and your watermark. I'll make another video on those one day. Basic info is where you write your about page. Oh, look at that. I haven't set up my custom URL for my channel yet. I have to do that. Sounds like a whole other video to me. Let's get back out to layout. A channel trailer, if you're not sure what that is it is when you have a big featured video playing on the top of your home page this shows up both on your computer desktop it also shows up on your phone so it's a great thing to have just gives your channel a little bit more of a professional feel you'll notice here I don't have a specific channel trailer where I say hi this is Tiffany this channel helps you with creator tips about YouTube and TikTok I could make a trailer like that that would probably be helpful for people but I also think it's just as effective to have a strong video playing here in this one I, I kind of have a bit of personality there believe it or not so I thought well okay I had good hair that day given a good tip this video showcases my vibe a little bit so why not have that playing there for people who haven't subscribed yet but you'll notice if you go into customize channel you also have the option to do something different for returning subscribers so basically it's the same thing it's the channel trailer it's the big video that plays at the top of your page but you can choose to have a different video here for people who are already subscribers if I wanted to change it it's as easy as this you just click on change and your videos come up super easily or if for some reason you wanted to put any video on YouTube there well let's see if I could put up something from one of my other channels look at that I could put a tool review or I could put my husband Brad at the top of my channel but I don't think I'll do that sorry babe you know what let's change it that video has been there for a while let's change it to something else featured video for returning subscribers highlight a video for your subscribers to watch. This video won't be shown again at the top of your page for subscribers who have watched it. Well, that's good. Your subscribers won't be seeing this video over and over and over again. That's cool. How to make a selfie sticker on TikTok. That's news you can use. And don't forget to publish. There you go, guys. Simple as that. If you have any questions or comments, put them below and I'll be sure to get to them. And in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I have creator tips for YouTube and TikTok to help your channel achieve liftoff. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.